Well, hello there, shrimplets. Let's uh, do something a little bit different today, right? Uh, this is more for the advanced users, so if you like this kind of content, then please do leave a like, right? And, guys, this type of content is going to be about us with our air system in here today, right? Because when I first did my air system in here today, I actually did it the wrong way, right? There's a right and a wrong way, right? So, um, when you make your air system, it's always advisable for you guys to actually uh, use a tap and put your little fins in. Let me show you here. Right, so these are the fittings that I use on all my tanks, look. Right, these go into the plastic pipe in the roof and you're able to get your air from them, right? And the thing that has always been wrong with these guys for me is I have did it the cheap way, as in in this room for example, right, we have 40 odd outlets. I put all of them in by hand and it can get pretty sore in your fingers. You, you literally end up with bruised nails and really raw fingers in the end, right? So there is a better way. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to share with you um, anything that I use in this video, links in the description or in the first comment to where you can buy this stuff yourself. This will include stuff like uh, these little metal valves that we just talked about there and the little taps that you need to put them into the pipe. We have a piece of PVC pipe here that we're also going to use. And guys, I'm going to share with you this as well. And this is uh, where I get my sponge fillers because I found somewhere that is relatively cheap. Right, and to give you an example, in Norway for me to buy one double sponge filter, it cost me probably about two, three hundred kroners, which is the equivalent of 20 to 25, 30 dollars, which is really, really expensive. But right, considering I can get all of these in this package here, six of them, six double sponge filters for roughly about $18, including shipping. What you need to get this to work, guys, is you need a piece of plastic PVC pipe. You need your little stainless steel valve. I love these because they do not leak. A lot of the plastic ones do. And you'll need a drill and your little drill bit, right? So, guys, let's uh, have a look at this. I bought a pack like this, and this is the first time that I've literally used them. So it will be good to know if they actually work, if I can actually open this little package here. It will be good to know if they actually work with. So I'm going to pour them out here. And we're going to find one. And then we're going to drill it and we're going to see if it's any easier. Because yeah, it is a bloody nightmare trying to do this by hand. Right? So I think there's a tap on this one. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, there is. I don't think there is. But what we'll do is we'll use the smallest one. And then we'll use the one that I think is the size for our little thing let me see has it got the m5 so that's 50 mil i think our little valve here is four and a half mil so this it looks like it looks like it might be ah, this actually looks bigger so this might be the top size let's see is there another one or maybe this one we have a whole piece of spare pvc to choose from so let's cut this down a little bit because it's too big to work with and I just need a little bit. This is just a spare piece that I was practicing on when I was making my entire shrimp room, so... And uh, let's get this coffee in the mouth and get it out of the way. And uh, I'm going to angle the camera down here. By the way guys, I'm wearing shorts. It's actually quite warm in Norway now. And we'll get going. We'll start drilling. Alright guys, hopefully this is enough for you to see everything here. I think it is. I think I can see right. So we're going to try a couple of different ways of doing this um, because there's two sizes here that might be close. One might be too tight and one might not be good enough at all. But I think they will be. These are the sizes we're going to try. And guys, the, the reason I'm trying two different sizes is because um, it's always better when you have fittings like this for them to be as tight as possible. It doesn't seemed like it would make an awfully big difference you making sure these are in tight but the less air leaks you have in your system the more is actually going into your tank right so you want to try and make sure these are, these are tight as fit as possible because the ones in my system that i have here now simply are not you, some of them you can literally pull out with your hand but it's too late for me to change that now so this is for future builds which i'll be doing plenty of let's grab our drill and let's try let's try the one that was smaller first. I'm just wondering guys if maybe we should drill a little pilot hole first just to make it easier. Let's see if we can actually force this in with a pilot hole. 
Okay, so let's get our drill bit in. Let's switch it up to the drill and we'll see how we go. By the way guys, these uh, drill, this drill set, this topping set cost me about 50, 60 kroners, which is about five or six dollars. So this to me is completely worth it if it saves me the pain in my fingers, right? So let's try the first one. Please go in, let's go over here a wee bit. Please go in first time, okay. Yeah, it wants to wander a little bit because the end here is not flat. It's not as flat as I thought it was going to be, right? So we're going to have to drill a small taper bit first, right? So let's just grab the smallest one. This is just to get us started, guys. This is just to get us started. Can you see okay way over there? Yeah, that grips a lot with the little taper drill bit. Right? So we're going to do two holes. We're going to because we're going to test the two different sizes of drill bit of tapers. Yeah, I just realised there that when I'm trying to pull this out, it's actually like a, putting a screw into a wall, and then you're trying to put the, put the screw out. So you probably better switching your drill into reverse. There you go. Makes sense when you know how. And I don't know an awful lot, right? So let's get this one off. Yeah, so it's always easier to start with a little uh, pilot hole. Let's get this one in. What size was this? Was the five five m, which is five mil. It's got 0 0.8 on it on the on the drill itself as well, and I wonder if that is the thread depth. I don't know. Let's try this. So that went through there really, really easy. I have to watch that I don't go all the way through. Well, that went through super easy. So this first one was our five mil bit. Let's uh, just give this a quick clean. Make sure all the birds are off. Right, so here we have our little stainless steel valve. Here we have the hole that we just drilled for it. Let's see how hard this is to push in. Because, yeah, I'm sick of getting sore fingers doing this, guys. Sick of it. It's not like a mega easy thing to push in. I, w I wonder if we can put this into the drill bit and try and push it in. <laughs> because that seems just a little bit too tight. Let's see, what was the other size? 6mm, because I think 6mm will be too big. Although, let's give it a try, because it actually looks like it might be the same size. Maybe I was wrong, maybe I was wrong. Maybe these are not 5mm, maybe these are 6mm. Let's try this. Take your time with the top. There you go, you can kind of tell when it goes through. Reverse, our top is done. Clean off all the burr. Like so. Right, and on the inside of this edge here, the, it will be tapped, right? So let's try this now. Oh yeah, I think the, I think the original one was just a tad. As we say in Scotland, a ball here. <laughs> just a ball here. On the wrong side, I think. Oh, is this, is this going to fit? Guys, don't ever estimate, underestimate how hard it is to do stuff on camera. <laughs> but this is going in itself, look. Kind of at an angle, though. Uh, I'm so, yeah, it, it, this does feel tighter, actually. Look, I'm not even, not even all the way in. And this does feel tighter. So, still seems a wee bit hard on the fingers doing this. But that is definitely much, much, much more tighter than I would ever get by just simply drilling a hole and forcing it in. Yeah, that is good. Yeah, I would, I'd be much more happy to use this than the setup I used before it. So that's the valve off, like so. 
you see yeah that is a good fit it's a really really good fit you can see the joint there okay, right guys let's see if we can rescue this hole here I'm not going to use this stuff but it's just to test things out right, let's see if we can increase the size of the hole here for this this bit Oh, that was very easy to do. In and out, let's go in and out a few times. No laughing at the back there. Right, and then let's uh, clear off that bar. Clear off the bar. Like so, you want to try and get most of it off. Just so it's a lovely snug fit. And guys, I like to get all these little bits off here because yeah, I would imagine that it's quite easy for stuff to go down the end of this little hole there. And uh, you yeah, know, uh, like block up. I don't know if you guys can see down the middle there or not. It would be very easy for a little bit of plastic to go down there and mess up your dairy. So let's see. Uh, yeah, I can tell already this one's going to fit in no problem. So that extra going in and out of that one or two times made a massive difference there. Look how good that is. Measly. Yeah, and it's tightening up lovely. Look at that. Look at that. Wasn't that good? Right? We're going to try one more because I want to try and see if uh, we can actually do this with the drill putting in these taps. Putting in the actual little bits themselves, right? Let's try this. We may have to tap this again. Yep. Tap, tap, tap. Yeah, you're probably better to have a dedicated tap drill bit for this. So when I put the drill in uh, twice, it went in really easy, but it was looser. Right? So let's try this once again. Make sure it's getting all that burr out of there. Reverse it slow. Yeah, because I can actually see the thread in it when I did it this time, which is which is a good uh, a good thing. Clear off all the burr. Clear off all the burr and try and get a little bit off of the outside without destroying the top. All right, let's see if that was easier. Right, so let me, before we try that, right, let's try this with the drill, because it, it, it does get a little bit of a pain in the butthole. Trying to do this, trying to do this uh, by hand. Let's see, can we make the drill grab this? We should, we should be able to make the drill grab this. And we're going to want to make sure you're Resistance is off quite a lot, so it doesn't damage the thread. Let's see if we can make this do this. Make sure it's square, plumb, and in you go. Let's see. Yeah, I, I, guys, I think I've been doing it wrong for years. This is way, way, way easier. And I'm not going fast because I don't want to destroy the thread. Let's see. There you go. And let's just see how tight that was. Yeah, that's tight. It's tight enough. Oh, that's tight. That's good. It's good. Right, and the reason I want to tap stuff, guys, is because PVC pipe, as you heat it like this, what happens is it can become flexible and these can actually shoot off right so you, you're actually better using a tap. Alright so in a nutshell guys I'm going to give you my verdict on, on whether these little threading tools work. Now I'd say yes I'll definitely use this every single time that I'm going to do threading with these ever again because this made it a little bit better and it probably saves me some air 
that won't escape from these little valves right so my conclusion as well is don't drill the hole twice because you make it too loose drill it once once is enough and then fit your little thing do it by hand actually as well that was one other thing because I found that the one that we did with the uh, was it this one I can't remember exactly the one that we did with the drill was a little bit too slack but maybe not I don't know something you can test for yourself but these are all very very tight and in, in good order right so from this little bit here is this is where you put your air line go into your sponge filter which leads us on to the next part of our little video today because we are going to look at these right I've been buying these in bulk from AliExpress and guys I've actually got them in my tanks as well and I reckon that these are really good ones right so let's open up this package it is your uh, box standard double black sponge and yeah I think they're awesome so that's why I'm going to recommend to you guys to go and see if you can want to buy these because right, in a nutshell a double black sponge in Norway will cost me anything from between 15 and 20 dollars for one double black sponge right and I have found a place that sells the exact same sponge or the exact same one for the same price but for six of them right so this is incredibly cheap and yeah I, as I said I have them in all my tanks I'm trying to do this without damaging the sponges because these are incredibly well packed and I did notice the last time that uh, they come really fast as well I've noticed that on a few of my recent AliExpress purchases that this stuff comes reasonably fast right so they come in a package like this and we're going to open it up so you can see this as well this kind of reminds me guys of um, something that looks like it is meant to go to wholesale or something like that and then for them to be repackaged with people's brandings I don't know because all the stuff in here is in its individual uh, compartments or packages if you know what I mean right so we have their sponges look at them they're all like this they all come out like this and what to do guys if you have ones that are a little bit out of shape like that because you will get the odd one soak them in hot water overnight and they return to the normal shape this is what I do with mines right I actually treat mines I do the uh, 5 mil of bleach into a whole 10 what is this guys 10 it's about 10 litres of water in in a bucket and I put these in and I let them sit overnight right on the the expand to their full shape and they are good to go again god look at that exposure okay, so let's have a look at the other part these are the ones that you'll all know and love like this and you simply add on your sponges and whatever else and it all comes packaged like this right, and these filters are really really good I have in some of my tanks guys I have three of them that's how highly I rate these sponges but so there is today's video if you found it at all helpful then please do leave a like and subscribe because guys I will actually return to be doing some of this type of video again and I know it's not everyone's cup of tea but these doing this type of video serves a purpose as in it lets me show you how I do my stuff and then you can recreate it yourself and then you can keep shrimp better whatever else right so enjoy your day and I'll see you in the next one have a shrimp keep boop